What's up YouTube, Max is Race Up here, and of course, it's another unboxing video, but um, before I get into this unboxing, I do have a serious question. I don't know, It's I've been thinking of like content to post on my YouTube channel, and I mean, of course, I want it to be diecast related, and I really don't know what else to post other than unboxings, just because that's my favorite content. I like reviews, but I honestly think that they could get boring. So, I don't know. If you guys are looking for new content, just please give me a comment down in the comments below. And um, let me know and just give me suggestions on um, things you guys would like to see. Just because right now, I'm kind of stumped. Because, like, I don't, I'm not you guys. So, I wouldn't know just because I'm pretty picky on what I watch. But, um... I wouldn't be closed off and closed minded to do um, other things on this channel. Just depends what you guys want to see or not. So that's all I'm going to say about that. I do have two packages to open for you guys. I have four cars. All four of these cars. Um, okay, so two of them I was looking for for like a really long time at a good price or just in general. And the other two I wanted this car from I'm it's hard to say it but without giving it away I wanted this car I wanted a car from this driver from this certain year and I've never been able to find one at all like even just I haven't been able to find one like I've seen none listed until just recently and I finally got two of them so I'll explain that more um after I get into this I'm going to open the first box up i'm not sure which is which so because i know one box has um one car in it and then the other has three <clears throat> if you guys are new um go check out my instagram after the video at nascar diecast 164 um, I post all my new ads and um, everything that you guys see on here on my Instagram. So go check it out. I hate packing penis. Okay, so okay, it's fine though. Because usually they, they they pack it to where when you take the car out, the packing peanuts go everywhere. But this isn't bad at all. Yeah, and it's honestly not in bad shape. It's just really dusty. So this is. See what year is this? Okay. Let me stand on the front. No. Okay. This is Sterling Marlins 2007 Waste Management number 14 for Gin Racing. I'm pretty sure or Gin. I'm pretty sure it's Gin. Just because he has the Gin Resorts um, sponsor on it, but this is Sterling Marlins number 14 COT. 2007 and i mean i think he drove this 2008 as well in the daytona 500 if he qualified i'm not sure if he did or not but that's really cool this is my first waste management car and this is my first sterling marlin cot i don't know if he has any other cot's but this is my first and only sterling marlin cot oh my god i love that so much oh it looks so good just because i'm Collecting COTs, I, I bought a lot of COTs back in 2008, 2009, and oh, in 2010 when I was 8, 9, and 10 years old. So I took all those out of the box and played with them, even my two Red Bull cars I got in 09. So I'm going back now and I'm getting um, cars I had and I screwed up or cars that I just didn't get like this one. And I'm really happy about that just because... This is the Contender Series CFS COTs or some of the rarest COTs that people could have in their collection just because they're so obscure and because there wasn't a lot made. I know, I mean, I'm almost 100% sure there's no Sterling Marlin 164 number 14 COT by, made by Action or Motorsports Authentics. So unless you guys know and I'm wrong on that, let me know. But um I think this is a really cool car, and I just love it with the wing. People were roasting on um, YouTube, because this is honestly 
like you guys saw in the previous video, I got this Robbie Gordon. Um, it's not a COT though. This is a 2007 Ford Fusion uh, Gen 4 body. And um, that was my first um, CFS car that I've ever got in package. This is, this, it, this oh my God, I forgot I had this is an example. I have this J, JJ Yaley. I can't talk right now. Oh my God. I have this JJ Yaley number 96 DLP Hall of Fame racing car. And this is a uh, CFS car, 2007 CFS car that I took out of the box. And it's not ruined, but it's just, it's, it's pretty beat up, but it's honestly not ruined. And people would, it's funny. I've got offers from people that want to buy this and I don't really know what I want to do with it yet. Just because, I mean, it is loose, no box, no nothing. And I bought this in 07 or 08 and obviously took this out of the box right away. I got this from the track, I'm guessing, because I don't know where else you could have got CFS. Um, so I have that JJ Yaley number 96. So that was my only CFS car I had. And then I got that Robbie Gordon and now this. And then that kind of gives it away for what I'm about to show you guys next. But these are also CFS cars. If you um, if you didn't know or didn't guess, these are um, I mean all of them are like I'm not gonna say the Sterling Marlin wasn't like I wanted the Sterling uh, the Sterling Marlin I actually wanted um, for the longest like I was looking for the longest these um, cars I'm about to show you in here only one of them I was looking for about just as long as the Sterling Marlin. Wow, he wrapped this so nice. Oh my God. I get off on that just because, wow, and these are so mint. That's ridiculous. So this is the other one that I was looking for for a very long time. Bobby Labonte's number 96, ass.com, 2007 uh, Toyota Camry. Or what? Why did I think that was a Camry? Ford Fusion. But um, I saw something on the back. That's why I looked. I was like, why did I say Camry? Um, oh my God. Sorry, I just need to like Google on this for a second just because I've wanted this for so long and it really doesn't look bad. People were so roasting the CFS bodies for the um uh the COTs. And I mean these low key look fucking more legit than I don't know. I mean yeah the action bodies do look really good for COTs and yes I guess I kinda like them better, but these aren't bad at all. The only thing I'm worried about, I mean, these look mint as hell, is that I'm worried that they're like the um, Team Caliber where the paint kind of chips over time, even if you keep them in the package. But this package is so mint, it's freaking ridiculous. This feels like it just like came out of a box to go stock back in 2007, whenever this came out. Wow. That's so funny because I remember watching the Daytona 500 in 2008 and seeing the whole ass.com promotion and all the stuff with Bobby Labonte that year. And I didn't even think about getting a die cast. Um, oh, okay, yeah, I got, okay. I thought I got one more than I did. So these two are by, are these two, bleh, I literally can't talk. This is so ridiculous. These two next cars, I'm so tired, but these two next cars are um, from a driver that is one of my favorite drivers, and he's been one of my favorite drivers for a long time. I showed off his car in the last video, and it was a Contender Series car, so if you guys remember, that was the Robbie Gordon. I got two. Mint as hell. They feel like they're from the same seller just because they all have the gold back and they all are like mint as crap. Like, I'm not lying how mint these are, but I got this Robbie Gordon Freightliner and this Polaris number seven Robbie Gordon um, COT. And they're both COTs and both of them are 2007. And oh my gosh, I've been looking for these for the longest time. Um... Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys checking me out. Um, check out my Instagram at NASCAR Diecast 164. Thank you all.